Hello everyone. I hope everybody is safe and healthy and doing okay financially and just overall. This time right now is honestly just really surreal and mind-blowing to say the least. And I kind of wanted to talk about what I am planning on doing or what I am doing at the moment to prepare for this financially and just in general, um, being that I do have, you know, $50,000 of debt, I don't have much in savings, um, my job is not the most secure. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just going to touch on a few things that I am doing in the current moment. Obviously, depending on where you are in the world, you are probably pretty affected by this virus going around. I am in America. To be specific, I live in Georgia. But I guess at this point, we like nobody really knows how bad this is going to get. And you know, a lot of companies are keeping people at home or either laying them off or making them work from home. As of right now, I do still have my job. I do still go to work. I think we will transition into working from home eventually, but that is not the case right now. And that is what's today. March 17th, Tuesday, March 17th, and I still am going to work. I am not greatly concerned about losing my job. I wouldn't say that my job is the most secure, but I am pretty positive that I should be good. I'm honestly so grateful to say that. I'm so grateful that I even have this job to begin with. I know that in jobs that I had before, that may not have been the case. So my job before this, I was working in an urgent care and who knows like if I would have gotten sick or even if they would have had to close down. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are struggling right now with job loss and I do deeply empathize with those people. And I hope that this teaches people to keep an emergency fund greater than a thousand dollars. I do hope for things to turn around soon and quickly, but who knows. In regards to my finances though, like I said, my income is fine, my full-time job income. I have seen a decrease in ad revenue from my blog, and this is not necessarily associated with the page views. This is because the ads are paying less right now, just because that is what's happening, the companies are losing money. My YouTube ad revenue on my other channel has been about the same, uh, but I am so fortunate to say that I do not rely on those sources of income for my primary income. You know, I have a full-time job and I'm really grateful to have that in place and to still have that. So my income should be fine. I am changing up a little bit of what I'm doing in regards to this situation. So I am actually stopping all extra debt payments. I am paying minimum payments, of course. This is just my car, which is about $383 a month, as you guys know from my budget. Um, my credit card, which I do not know if I will be able to pay off by the time. This was a balance transfer, so I don't know if I'll be able to pay this off by June, but I'm not stressing about it. And then I pay $128, about $100, $128 to student loans. I am still waiting on that student loan interest to be waived um, for the next couple of months. I, I'm really grateful that that is going to be put into place. Hopefully it goes smoothly with that and there's no like backdoor uh, extra payments in the long run. But either way, I am grateful for that. But I am stopping any extra debt payments, just going to pay the minimums. And this is because I need to get my savings back up, not only because of this situation, just in case, you know, I, I think it's, I need to save a lot more in general, but also because I depleted my emergency fund last month, as you guys saw. Um, this actually is coming at a really bad time because I de depleted that emergency fund. I only have, I don't know, maybe less than 500 now in my emergency fund and I am having tooth pain. So I honestly think I do need to get a, another root canal and that's gonna cost me some, but I do want to prioritize my health. So I would, you know, figure out the tooth situation first, but this may cause me to go into further debt for a month or two, but so be it. You know, this is what happens when you have an emergency fund in place and it gets depleted and 
you're trying to build it back up and another emergency comes up and um, that's just life and that is just my current situation so I am grateful that I'm able to pay everything at the moment I still am making all my bills on time of course and I am good otherwise but am stopping extra debt payments saving more and then within a couple of months I should be back on track should be good another thing is that I am not stopping my Roth IRA investments contributions I only do a hundred dollars a month so I don't think that's too much and also I know right now the stocks are way down and everything is really dropping but this is kind of the time where you you should just stick it out don't take anything out don't don't stop contributing at least in my opinion of course if you have more money this may be a time for you to, to contribute more that's not the situation for me so I will continue to cr contribute my one hundred dollars a month that just happens automatically for me but um, I'm not really worried about it. I know it will go back up and I am just letting that money go in there. The other thing is that I'm really focusing on my online work right now. So if you are somebody who is quarantined at home or if you are just off of work or maybe you even lost a job and, and you're having trouble finding a job, this is the perfect time to work on those online businesses or get one started or start doing research on it. Just because a lot of people are gonna be online right now and I'm not expecting to make a bunch of money during this time because ad revenue and things like that are down however just choosing to really work on these things more proactively is is what i am doing just so that i have a lot more content to push out so people can consume more of it or i can get more people on my email list get more views get more readers things like that and uh just take advantage of this time where more people are stuck in their house and going to the internet for their entertainment and reading all that stuff. If I do end up having to work from home, I will still have to do my work from my full-time job. So I can't really just like go full-time with my side hustles right now. Uh, but if that is the situation that you are in and you are still getting paid, especially you get to just stay home, then take advantage of that and like really start hustling on your stuff and get it out there, get it going. I have stocked up on a little bit of groceries, mostly because of other people. I don't want the food to run out just in general. So this past weekend, I did get my like week of groceries, but I also got a little bit more. I got some rice, beans, pasta, pasta sauce, lentils, some frozen vegan meat. Um, yeah, just some, some staples, a bunch of peanut butter, things like that, so that I would have it in case they do start to run out because everybody is freaking out. Uh, I definitely am not concerned so much about, you know, myself getting it or really even passing it to anybody else. I stay to myself for the most part. I can definitely say that I am not panicking in this situation. I haven't bought any toilet paper. <laughs> I have toilet paper, uh, but I haven't stocked up on loads and loads of toilet paper. I'm not sure why that was even happening, um, but... I am not panicking. I do want to be responsible in this though and, you know, not put other people at risk if that is, you know, a possibility. I know there's a lot of anxiety around all of this just in regards to everything for your health, for your finances, for the economy, for your elder parents or grandparents or any relatives or anything, but I think it's important to stay healthy. Uh, physically and mentally so this is going to be eating healthy and doing meditations and just thinking positive thoughts not constantly consuming the news and just constantly being worried about this because it doesn't really serve you you know you can stay informed and you can be responsible about this without having to just watch the news 24 7 especially if you're stuck at home and you're going to get more depressed and anxious because of it um, i'm definitely trying to stay more on the positive side i actually feel super grateful right now just with everything going on and I feel really positive. I'm, I don't know, I feel fine overall and I am just staying healthy, making sure to keep my immune system up, making sure to get outside and go for walks, um, washing hands frequently, obviously. So there's a lot that can happen during this time, a lot of good things, a lot of bad things. And I know it's really hard for people to see the bright side right now but i encourage you to take advantage of this time if you can and just ask for help if you do need it and you know try your best to stay positive and try your best to just make things work and hopefully if you're struggling financially then you can 
use this time to not only get your finances in order just by making a plan, but also to learn a lesson from this. Learn a lesson that, okay, I need to have maybe three to six months of an emergency fund um, because we just never know. There could be anything taken away from us at any time. This whole situation is really impactful and just, it was so unexpected. You know, we didn't expect to, to for this to happen back in December in China and for it to come here and stuff like that. So this could literally happen again or this could happen at any time with a different situation. So I highly encourage you to continue to save. Pay off your high interest debts and get out of debt ASAP. Not necessarily right now if you're not able to, but once we get through this, just really prioritize your debt and your savings and we will get through this. A recession was coming anyway. Of course, this is not the ideal way for it to happen, but now we know and we will we will get through this, okay? If you can pick up little side hustles, you know, maybe if you could go and deliver food or something, I don't know if that is still bringing in money for people or if you can do work online for somebody or, or just find ways to make extra cash, sell things around the house if you need to, just, just ride this wave out. Hopefully we start to see some help for people who do need it. But overall, I hope everybody is doing well and staying healthy. If you guys have any questions or video suggestions otherwise, please comment them down below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.